So I'm here in Gangnam Square uh, in the Gangnam area, famous for, of course, the popular Psy song. Uh, not much happening now, it's about to noon, and uh, apparently there's lots of stuff happening here in the evening, uh, according to the Tourist Information Center. Um, not really my style, uh, I'm more of a museum goer, uh, tower, climber, that kind of thing. Uh, I've uh, gone up the tower on the uh, Namsam Mountain and uh, climbed up there and didn't realize that there was a cable car that goes up there. <laughs> Halfway up I see this cable car of a full load of people going up. Uh, that was kind of a shocker. Um, other highlights were uh, the Museum of History. You know, local history is something that I always uh, want to learn about. Uh, there was a Museum of Agriculture, which uh, I found very interesting. Uh, there was lots of gates. Gates seem to be part of the city. Uh, historically, the center of Seoul used to be a market for lots of people to gather and do business and congregate and socialize and so on. But uh, now those gates are obsolete of course, but they have maintained uh, many of the gates. I had the pleasure to see a couple of them. Uh, I'll, I'll highlight one in an upcoming video. Uh, they're quite that magnificent. The doors are huge, uh, built of iron takes many people to move, uh, they, they uh, still have the beams that are used to hold the doors closed uh, and despite uh, um, war and arson and so on these gates are still uh, maintained and restored and uh, they're beautiful, beautiful to look at and uh, that's one thing that I enjoyed uh, here that is uh, characteristic of no other place that I've been to. Uh, I found Seoul to be a very big city. Um, population is like 8 million plus or something like that. Uh, don't hold me on that. But uh, it's very large, many times larger than Vancouver where I'm from. And uh, again, just the similar to Tokyo, urban planning is, is awesome. There's so much public transit, it's uh, remarkable. Uh, it takes a little getting used to, but once you get used to it, you, if you're in the uh, inner circle, like there's a circular train that goes around the, uh, the main city. Uh, and if you're within that train, you don't even have to take a bus. Uh, some people take buses, but it's not necessary because you can just walk one kilometer or uh, a little less than a mile and you'll find another station uh, on a different line. Like there's, there's so many lines. I think there's like eight lines across into the city. Uh, could be more. Um, so yeah, the public transit system is very accessible. Uh, there's there's public toilets at each station. The, um, the stations are usually built at major intersections uh, so that if you want to go to the other side of the street you can just go underground. Uh, quite typically there is a shopping center underground uh, at most main stations like they do here at, at Gangnam Station. And, uh, and that's because uh, there's, there's so much people. So many people, um, they're not walking around here because I'm at the intersection uh, and they're, they walk on the ground. Uh, they're all underneath right here. Um, uh, the place I think livens up during the evening. Uh, like dancers and singers come here. There, there's a concert stage behind me where the blue uh, uh, wall is and I'm sitting on the steps of a huge television screen. So yeah, the, there's going to be uh, some action here, uh, but right now there is very little traffic. Uh, the city hall was something that sticks in my mind. Uh, there are two city halls. One is the original old city hall, uh, 
which is now used more like a public office for child welfare or something like that. I didn't actually go there, uh, but I couldn't help but go to the new city hall, uh, Citizens Hall they call it, and uh, there is like multiple floors for uh, people to use, uh, citizens of the city. Uh, there is um, public internet stations, there is lots of seating areas, uh, cafe, an art gallery, um, a plaza with lots of tents and I assume activities, uh, festivals and so on, uh, lots of um, policing for security and uh, just the architecture of the building is uh, something to look at. Um, the 8th to 10th floor are for the citizens and uh, the other floors are for um, government uh, officials, I guess. The mayor works out of there. And uh, from the 8th to 10th floor, you get a very clear view of the plaza with a downward view windows facing downwards, uh, very unique uh, architecture. And uh, nearby that is a uh, palace, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because the, the syllables, the sounds, uh, that uh, the language, I still haven't caught on to it, it's uh, been eight nights here now and uh, yeah, uh, not easy to catch on. Um, I did get, get a few words but uh, you know, just regular um, so, where was I getting at? The palace, yeah, the palace uh, is an amazing place, uh, I was told, and I should go visit there. Uh, I did uh, walk up to the park that leads up to it, and I just didn't feel interested that much. I, I know that palaces and royalty are um, worshipped to some degree remembered of course and uh, in, in many cultures it, it's, a, it's a really big deal for me it is not uh, and I doubt it ever will be I prefer going to folk museums um, and learning about how the people used to live or even just uh, you know I spend so much time just sitting here uh, watching people go by um, Sitting in the uh, McDonald's having coffee and a uh, Big Mac and um, uh, charging up my electronics and just watching people. Uh, went to Angels in Us, a franchise here. Uh, maybe it's a franchise somewhere else, uh, I'm not sure. But uh, that was a good place to, uh, to people watch. Uh, that was at Yoang. Young Pope Station. <laughs> I, I hope I'm not butchering the pronunciation. Uh, I probably am. But in any case, uh, just just people watching is what I like to do. Seeing what people are doing and uh, wearing, and how they behave, and yeah, you know, it, it really is not that different in Vancouver. It, it seems like people don't like wearing socks. <laughs> Even though it's it's about five degrees Celsius now, but it's still cold. Um, not not by my standards, but it is for a lot of people. Uh, people are wearing masks, and I gotta explain that a little bit. Uh, I always thought that people wore masks because they didn't want to breathe in pollution, or uh, they wanted to hide their face. Um, I, I was it's explained to me that. Um, for the most part, it's a courtesy thing. Uh, the people who are wearing masks are have a cold or they have a flu, and they wear that mask so that they don't um, cough and spread the flu. And that's part of the culture. Uh, they don't want uh, other people to get sick, yet they still want to go about doing what they need to do. And uh, that's uh, that really changes my viewpoint of what the, the mask was for. You, know, you, hear, you hear on the news, that, like in Hong Kong, people are wearing masks so that they can hide their faces. Um, uh, in China, I expect to um, uh, encounter pollution, so maybe there's more uh, mask wearing 
see her. But uh, here in Seoul, in, in Japan, um, uh, people wear it because they don't want to be uh, contagious to the rest of the population. And I think that's very curious. There's a lot of uh, motorbikes here compared to uh, Japan and uh, they, they drive a lot more recklessly here. I mean in Japan I got, uh, started to get used to after a couple of weeks uh, bicycles that are on the sidewalks. Uh, learn not to make any sudden lateral movements uh, just in case a bike is coming by. Uh, but the motorbikes here, they, they go up onto the sidewalks, uh, so they, um, they don't really obey the, the minor intersections at all, like at a red light they'll uh, swerve into the other lane, pretend to be making a right turn, and then make a U-turn, and then make another right turn to bypass the red light. And uh, that's, I guess if there's no traffic, no problem, but uh, I've seen it done many times lots of traffic and pedestrians so and then they'll just climb up on to the uh, sidewalks you know into busy crowds you see? and uh, it's amazing I have not seen an accident or not even a near accident but uh, uh, the people who walk on the sidewalk don't seem phased um, it startled me a few times revving of the, their engines and um, buzzing by, like, ooh, the mufflers aren't that good. And so, yeah, so that, that, that uh, uh, I was concerned for my safety a little bit. <laughs> uh, the, one of the good things is that uh, they do drive on the right side, uh, I'll say the proper side, only because that's the side I'm used to. And uh, so I was uh, it, a little turned around when uh, I was in Japan. And of course, in Japan, they're on the other side. And uh, here, they're on the proper side. <laughs> uh, so that way, you can recognize uh, right turns and left turns, and, and easier to cross the street knowing which way to look. Uh, you know, I'm always concerned about safety, uh, so uh, traveling, you, know, you always have to worry about the vehicles, you don't want to get hit by one, of course, uh, the last thing, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, speaking of vehicles, I should uh, get going, I'm going to be boarding another international ferry, um, this time from uh, Incheon, uh, and I'm going to, um, to Dalian in China. And uh, I'll be relieved to be back on the mainland. And uh, well, actually, we are on the mainland, but uh, with North Korea there, um, uh, people don't consider them to be consider, consider themselves to be on the mainland. Oh, I, I'll explain that in a future video. Um, South Korea is still kind of on um, uh, awareness watch of North Korea, uh, and so. They feel like they're, they're on the tip of the peninsula and they can't really get to the mainland, uh, the rest of the mainland. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to mainland China and uh, it'll be uh, another exciting experience. Uh, this time it'll be an overnight ferry and so I'll have a bed uh, shared with other people. Uh, I mean, a bed in a room shared with other people. And uh, so, yeah, gonna get going now. I uh, got my backpack, everything's all ready to go. I uh, got my ferry ticket, my uh, documentation, my visa. Uh, let's see, um, I can show where I'm gonna stay in Dalian. I can also show uh, my uh, departure to Hong Kong. So, um, let us go now to Dalian.